Hello guys, welcome to this video. I'll be looking at activity 18C. The question says, open the file saved in activity 18B, import the file orders.csv, use these field names and data types. Okay, so of course, what we have on the table here, we're going to use that, right? Okay, so let's let's uh, import orders.csv. So I have my database here. Of course, we've already done uh, activity 18B here using the stationary table. So we're going to refer refer to that later on, I guess. Okay, so I want to go to external data from new data source from, from file, text file. I want to browse for order, orders.csv. I can't remember this. Uh, okay, yeah, that's it. Orders.csv. Um, let me see more instructions. Let me just be sure. Um, so assign a new field as a key field. Okay. Right. Okay. So let's uh, move on. So I'm going to leave. Um, so I'm going to make the first row content field names. Okay. And then of course, um, go to the next. I will allow it to give, I will allow access to, to give a primary key to my table like that and then move on since they say that you add a new field so i'm going to leave it leave it like that so what i'm going to do here is to right click and then rename the other table as uh, activity 18 uh, c underscore tbl tbl here just to make it uh, you know consistent okay so that's for that uh, let me see. Okay, so the, the, what I'm going to do now is to make the tables, I mean the field names to look like what we have here. And of course, ensure that the data type is also as required. Okay, so let me just go to the design view. Where is, um, yeah, other tables. So I want to go to design view. Good. So let me just minimize the bits just to have. Um, okay, so I'm going to leave um, this ID here this uh, id i'm just going to leave it and then uh, order number so i'm going to have other number so other score no stands for number so this is n uh the data type is numeric and um, customer number i will rename it as uh, customer underscore no uh, text of course product code so i'm going to make sure that's underscore after the product of course it's also uh, numeric and then units underscore sold so i'm going to just do that and of course so, so i think that's about it so i'm going to simply save the changes maximize that and then uh, close it so we're good with this so the next one is to import the file customers.csv so we use these field names, which is on the, uh, the, on the table here. So let me just say import customer to CSV external data from here. So uh, customer to CSV. Let me check for extra information. I set the customer ID field as a key field. Okay, so let me just be sure move ahead yes first row contains fields fields name uh, i will use um customer id as the key field which is already selected so i'm gonna move on uh finish that's it right yeah customer of csv so got it so I need to rename it also to give it a suggestive name. So let me have, uh, sorry, let me, let me name it as uh, activity uh, 18, yeah, 18C underscore customer, TBL, sorry, TBL customers. So I'm gonna have it like this, hope I remember. Yeah, so that's it. So um, I think one of the things I will do, maybe I may have to, you know, uh, duplicate. Okay, let me just leave it like that. Probably copy. Let me just make a copy. 
something like that. Let me, let me make a copy of this. Let me uh, paste it right here. Let me call it activity. Yeah, I need the structure and the data, everything I need it. So activity 18C. I'm gonna okay that. So I'm gonna have it right there. So I want to have the what's it called? The um activity 18C stationary table, the order table, and then of course the the customer table. So I want to have everything uh you know the same just just for you know so there won't be any confusion so what i'm going to do for the customer table so i want to make sure it looks like um, what we have on the table so i want to go open a customer table here and the design view minimize it so that i'll be able to see what i'm doing so customer id so let me just make it look like what i have on the table customer underscore id text of course name is okay address so address underscore one let me just make it look like that and then i have um did it apply okay yeah address underscore two so, so text and then i have uh, address underscore three uh yeah zip code zip underscore code and then i have a uh, discount underscore percentage right so the zip code has to be text too so i will leave it as short text and then um the discount has to be numeric which is already here and then of course the decimal place has to be two decimal places so i may make it just two, two, two decimal places and then uh, i think that's about it so i'll, I'll simply save my changes to it and it's cool right good so what's the next question the next question is uh create one to many relationship between the the code let's see okay between the code the code field in stationary table and the product uh, product code field in the others table okay so first of all let me um so let's go to database tools and then relationship. Now relationship, I want to, I want to add uh, some couple of uh, tables. Um, where is this? I need to add tables. Uh, I will click there. The tables I want to add uh, customers. I want to add the. Uh, uh, Activity, yeah. I want to add other and then I want to add stationary. So these three I want to add them, right? So from the question there, it's gonna be the code field in the in the stationary table and product code in the other table. So uh, the stationary table is already here. So this is a code field, other table, and then has to be product, the product. So I'm gonna carry, I'm gonna click and then drop it click on a code in the stationary and stationary and drop it on now uh, on product code right and that will be one to many am i correct product code in the other other stable okay so i think that's it so i'll create that and then the next the next one will be to create sorry to create uh one to many relationship between the customer's ID field in the customer's table and then the customer number field in other table. Okay, other table. So where's the customer? This is the customer ID. And then uh, let me see. It has to be on customer number in other table. Okay, so I'm going to carry this customer's ID here. I want to place it on customer's number here. And then it will form a one to many relationship. Then I'll create that. Okay, so that will be the relationship between the three tables, right? Uh, okay, so I think everything here done. So take a screenshot. Take screenshots evidence showing the field names and data types used in these two tables. So the two tables that I think we're interested in will be between the orders table and then of course the uh, the customer table, right? So relationship you can just click here. 
and then make sure you drag down just to cover what is here so you can of course take your snapping tool and then you know or you can take you can um, use the print screen any one of them to take a screenshot of your you know of your, of your relationship all right so the next thing relationship between the three uh, tables so i mean you can easily do that all right all right so uh, thank you so much so you can use a snapping tool you can start you can um, look for the snapping tool here so you can actually take a screenshot of uh, the tables or the relationships whichever one click double click on the lines and then that's it so in case you're having the cuts you can leave a comment down below i'll make a video on how to screenshot i think it's easy so nobody um, everybody should know about that so let's see so let me save my changes i'll save that and then close all my tables then i'm good so thank you so much I will see you in the next one. Bye.